the National Economic Council, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security made a presentation to the council in respect of the Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zone, a program being carried out by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security in conjunction with the African Development Bank, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, the Islamic Development Bank, state governments, and private investors. This program started in 2022 with the first phase with seven states and the FCT keen in. The seven states are Kano, Kaduna, Kwara, Ogun, Oyo, Imo, and Cross River. And like I said, with the FCT being the eighth partner in this program. The program is in a sense like the name connotes, it's a special agro-processing zone. It's a one-stop shop where you will, we will site it in peri-urban areas, not exactly in urban areas, and uh, where you will have both production, aggregation, and processing of agricultural produce. This is a cross-cutting initiative uh, and pl platform to attract private sector investment to add value to our agro-processing and unlock a lot of opportunities for improved food security and job creation. The quick wins here are that even in the, the stage of um, construction, you have opportunity for over 3,000 jobs. And at the end of the construction, opportunities will be for almost 500,000 jobs on each zone, that is for each state and then also to support about 100,000 farmers. There is available in the first phase, and I think it's also counting about $530 million. And um, this, in a sense, is supposed to make um, cluster agricultural production. And as we all know it, we are faced with a lot of post-harvest losses. For, for instance, Kano has keyed in to do a lot of tomatoes in this zone. And we know that tomatoes losses run to almost about 50 to 60%. So you could just imagine all the efforts being done and then losses of that magnitude uh, is unacceptable in today's uh, agricultural sector. And if you want to um, secure food security, uh, we there's a need to process that um, uh, the food stuff that comes out from the farmlands to, its, to, to add value so that it can be preserved. Then I will just quickly go on to the next phase, which we have already uh, received expression of interest from about 26 states so far. The second phase is supposed to kick in from next year. This first phase will last for five years. And the documentation for phase two will begin by next year. In fact, we have already received, like I said, expression of interest from 26 states. And as we're even living now, there's only three states that were, have not expressed interest. But as we ha uh, were living here, one already had already signified and are working on sending the expression of interest. So with this, the council uh, noted the uh, participation of the seven states plus FCT. And um, in, when in the seven states, Ogun was a bit, by far right now, in terms of participation, in terms of development, the Ogun zone is by far the leader. But however, the state did not sign the SLA, which is the subsidiary loan agreement. But we have just received commitment from the Ogun State Government and Governor that he would immediately sign the subsidiary loan agreement. So we have, uh, Council has also approved the accelerated transmission of the SAPZ 
official documents to funders by the Federal Ministry of Finance and also grant of waiver from the Federal Ministry of Finance for the payment of performance allowance to project staff to by the funders as requested by the executing agency to avoid uh, project implementation risk. So these are the what we have discussed today and um, also notified council that second phase when Mr. His Excellency the Vice President attended the World Food Prize in Des Moines, Iowa, met with the President of the African Development Bank, uh, Dr. Adeshina, in which he has already pledged a billion dollars to the second phase. So that is in a sense, and uh, we expect more to come, but we need a lot of uh, enthusiasm from state governors to participate and key in into this viable project. What the money that was uh, funded, what's it meant for? Um, it's a zone that we're going to set up on, like I said, for the first phase on every state. And we got a, it's a catalytic funding for infrastructure. You need to provide infrastructure for, to attract investors to come in and set up um, their plants and, and processing uh, industries. So it's, in a sense, it's something that would, you know, an attraction to them. Um, of course, states, like for instance, like Ogun State is giving the airport that they just built as part of the processing zone, so that if there are any produce that are, you know, uh, value add addition can be used to, to export through the airport or take it to other parts of the country. So um, the one billion also applies to the same uh, thing in the f second phase. We expect to get much more because phase one is for uh, eight states and phase two is for 26 states. Um, someone has asked uh, which are the states that have not keyed in. If seven states have keyed in phase one and 26 in phase two, that leaves us with uh, 33 states and we have 36. So the three states that have not keyed in I may not, if you know, I have a long list of those states, but those that have not keyed in uh, is uh, Abia, Adamawa, and Yobe. I yet to. But uh, just as I mentioned earlier, as I was just leaving now, uh, Abia had already expressed uh, their interest to key in to this, um, this program. Then you also asked of specific dates. Uh, we have a timeline. I can't tell you the exact. Uh, month, but you know, from anywhere, because we have started on the second phase now. In fact, first phase have uh, have reached some stages, depending on the states. Uh, Ogun has reached advanced uh, stages uh, because they employed the there's a there's an investor, a private investor, that had done in four other countries that have also invested in Ogun State in the special agro processing zone. But uh, by and large, what we have. Uh, a criteria that you know you know, you have to engage the transaction advisory firm, uh, engage design and supervision consultants, and different stages, uh, feasibility studies, and uh, draft master plan. But we intend to start that from next year, which is 2024. Uh, we have not, and then it will be from that that will have the duration of the second phase. But for now. The first phase is for five years, and which will end in 2028.